I'm in the Simpich home today, and this is Holy Week 2020, a very unusual Holy Week for people across the world. And this room used to be my parents' doll studio when I was growing up. And uh, when they moved out in 1978 into their workshop, uh, this, this particular room has been in flux uh, ever since. And currently, my wife Debbie and I are using the area on the other side of this little partition here as a, what we call a drawing room. And we have a very large television that my dad bought. And uh, we're having to be careful about not having the news on all the time. We kind of check the news, uh, and then the television goes off, which is what I'm going to do right now. And talk to you about Easter and what I call my parents' Easter dolls. Now really, uh, in their 54-year career, they designed very few dolls that were specifically for Easter. Actually, finally, in 2005, the year they announced their retirement, my mother finally designed what she called an actual Easter doll. And it's a little girl named Trillium, and she is just to my left in our heritage case here at home. And uh, for years, my mother had wanted to do a child out hunting for Easter eggs. And finally, Trillium was created right as they were announced, well, just shortly before they announced they're going to close their business. And uh, I have to tell you something about my mother. She loved uh, little kids dressing up for Easter. Now, just recently, my wife and I found an old carousel of slides that we had never seen. And my wife just loves looking through old pictures and old slides. And Debbie brought up these wonderful images of my family when uh, they were celebrating Easter back in about 1958. They lived in Manitou at the time, and uh, they were just getting the, the doll business going. And my brother, Reg, was uh, living at that time, and my, uh, my sister, Gretchen. So they were, they were young, and they found this picture of Gretchen hunting for Easter eggs. And uh, notice her dress. My mother loved Easter dresses. And uh, so finally, in 2005, Trillium was created, and my mother even designed some bunnies right there with Trillium, and uh, a very rare piece. I mean, just a handful, maybe a few more than a handful were produced. I really don't know the number. I wish I did. Uh, but um, very high demand during those, those last months of my parents operating their business. Now in the Heritage case, she's displayed with some um, little buildings that my brother Reg has designed. He has always loved to do miniatures and have a church there which he has promised to uh, replace the cross on top of the church. So one of these days we'll get that done. But I kind of set them uh, there with her and then a, a little uh, washy painting that my dad did of the, uh, the, uh, the front range kind of behind there. So it's a little Easter scene. So there we have the official Simpich Easter doll, which, you know, is uh, with the, the, the Easter egg hunting and the bunnies and the, uh, the Easter clothes. But I have to say, there are a number of other dolls that I have used through the years to celebrate Easter. And I want to share those with you and talk a little bit about how I have used them in displays through the years. Now let's go to the Hallelujah Singers. Now, I've done a video about the Hallelujah Singers being used as Christmas decorations, but I think they're great for Easter too. There are four uh, children dressed in choir robes, singing Easter. So here we have Maria, and she was designed in 1990. She's one of the four. And uh, back when my parents had their, their doll shop, uh, quite often I would do window displays for them. They had some other people that did those also, but there was a period of time I did quite a few window displays. And I remember one year, um, we had uh, the Hallelujah Singers in the window with uh, Easter lilies. They also could be displayed with palm branches. And uh, it works great as an Easter decoration. So highly recommend that. Now next we'll talk about Moses. 
Now, one year I was going to do a, uh, an Easter window and I was kind of coming up short on an idea for how I could do maybe something other than, uh, you know, elves hunting for Easter eggs, which we did do. Uh, I thought, what could we do that would really celebrate Easter? And my dad had recently designed Moses. So an impressive piece that my dad designed and he was designed in 2002. So I thought, let's do Moses. And I had this idea that maybe I could just make a cross out of two pieces of old wood here. I found some old wood and made a cross. And I thought, uh, maybe if I put him in the window with Moses, set them up, and I think I had some um, greenery around them, maybe uh, some vines of some kind. And uh, then I made a sign that said, uh, it was actually a quote from scripture that said, I have come not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. And that is something that Jesus said in scripture. And I decided to have that there. And so there was the cross and there was the lawgiver looking at the cross, the fulfillment of the law in the life and death and resurrection of Christ. And so I got it all set up, it looked pretty good. And my dad came down, I think it was probably um, his favorite window I ever did. He just, he just thought, he came to me and said, that is a great window. So I just, I was very happy about, uh, about that uh, with, with the Moses doll. Did that just one time. Now another set of dolls that actually were designed for Christmas are great for Easter. And they are the shepherds from my parents' nativity set. And here I have four of the shepherds. And uh, there was also a woman called uh, the woman at the well. And I do not have one available here today to show you, but she also would work very, very well for Easter. But um, I would sometimes put them in the window with um, the cross and with greenery, and they work so well. And as a matter of fact, that is what I'm going to do today because uh, we're going to celebrate Easter big time this weekend. And I want to do a display at our uh, breakfast table using the shepherds and the cross that I hot glued together years and years ago. And so that's going to be my project here in a few minutes. Uh, I do want to introduce each one of the shepherds here. Uh, actually, I'll start in order. This is the shepherd with the lamb. He was the first one and he was designed in 1985. And uh, the collectors were so excited about having a shepherd to go with, uh, with the nativity set. The kings had not been designed yet, so he was the first one. Then the kneeling shepherd was in 1988. And a very wonderful piece um, that I've always just loved. And then uh, the lantern bearer was in 2001. And he was named after a shepherd that I designed for my nativity marionette show that is holding a lantern. This is a lantern bearer. And this piece, very rare. He was designed after my parents announced that they were closing. This is the shepherd with the staff very limited numbers of him ever were created and uh, just right at the end of my parents career so a wonderful piece and we have these out all year we use them on the piano and my dad has a wonderful bible that he loves to have uh, this shepherd looking at that bible and i'm going to do a display with them uh, for easter um, before i get started i wanted to say one other thing about this this television that's on the other side of the wall here and uh, this is going to be the first time in my life that I have not gone to church gone to church for Easter I was talking to my dad about that and I said do you remember a year uh, in your 94 years that you didn't go to church for Easter and he thought and no I he, this is the first one this is the first one so we're going to have church 
here in our home, and my wife and I are really looking forward to celebrating Easter, watching the, the live stream services. Services, I say, because we're going to watch one with my dad, and then we are planning on watching quite a few uh, for the rest of the day to see uh, this incredible thing that is happening in churches as we, we can't meet together. So uh, the television will be on Easter, not the news, uh, but we're looking forward to watching those services. But now, we, my wife and I are going to get started on um, the, uh, the Easter table. We're going to have Easter dinner, and we would like to do a special display. So I'm going to use the shepherds and the cross and get started. Mm -hmm. 